the red line is being shuttled, the green line is being shuttled, and the orange line There's is being shuttled. There's no good way to get to North Station from here. Which we're going to North Station to, to, meet, to friends, meet some friends. To actually come back out here to Port. We will go via Porter to our stop at Waverly. Yes. Where we're getting trackless trolleys. That's what this video is about. Oh, trackless this trolleys. This is going to be 12 hours of riding trackless trolleys. <laughs> you better get ready. One for lots of trackless trolleys in a crappy home video style that won't age well in 20 years when someone comes back also, to watch Also, it's awful weather. Yeah, the weather's terrible today. It's just gonna get worse. <laughs> Jeremy, first impressions on the Porter Square station platform. It is like flooding from above. It's like seriously pouring. This is miserable. We're gonna be sucks. outside all day. Nathan! Miles. I genuinely didn't expect to see him here. You, I wish it was on camera. I saw him and I was like, Nathan! And I was like so crazy. You were genuine, like, what? genuine. That was fake. <laughs> wow, look at all these foamers getting off at Waverly. I wonder why. So this is Waverly with its salmon colored station. This, I feel like this might be a historical relic someday. So to explain, this is the end of the 73 trackless trolley. It does a little loop de loop here. It goes left. The wires go around. There are the wires. They won't be around at some point, I'm sure. Sunny's umbrella's in my way. Otherwise, I. There we go. Oh, that's mm. just one drop trip. Good to know for the future. <laughs> also, hi, Sunny. I haven't said hi to you on camera yet. Hi. I'm just sitting here. I never, so this is my first time ever on a two track with Charlie. Oh, no. It's, and it's the last time, too. Oh, no. Here we go. It's not like the train station. Yeah. 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 I know. That was my There's a diesel on the 71. Watch out. Oh, I know. These wires aren't in use anymore. They were used by the 72, which isn't running right now. It hasn't run in years. That was the only time I've ever seen that. Oh, yeah, yeah. That never happened until then. Oh, it is bad. That's bad. Okay. Oh, God. These poor people. Truly a gathering of the foamers. We're all playing subweightle. Those wires go to Wartown Yard, which isn't a yard anymore. This is the Wartown loop. But we're gonna stay on and head back to the split point where the 71 and 73 split up. What, what, what is nobody a car? Yeah, in the car mind. How many foamers can you fit on one traffic island? <laughs> So we're entering the Harbor Tunnel, but we're actually going to go through it and continue up to Waterhouse Street, which is like the unofficial last stop. This is probably the most people that have been on this section of the 71 to 73. Thank you. Thank you.
at North Cambridge Car House now is going to be a final fan trip. standing by briefly to keep service running on schedule. Wow. I apologize for any inconvenience. This is not an inconvenience. Oh. Back into the tunnel for the. It's been a lot of times. I don't know what time it is. Now we're looping around Cambridge Common. We're gonna head on to the 72 for the truly last time. Jordy Cakes! 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 We're taking a right onto Aberdeen Ave. This will be the last trackless trolley ever to run on the 72 route. Onto the common. This is the last the trolley bus will ever pass under these wires. Make sure you're recording. <laughs> the, 70, the revenue 71 behind us is. Alright, Apparently the switch is frozen. We're waiting it out for the last the 10 feet. Kind of an interesting time for there to be an actual issue with running trackless yeah. trolley service as a mode specifically. But there are usually they'd usually be maintaining them. I think they're just not bothering because of the Also end of like service. the we're in the back of the yard, so right. it's not like prime service territory. Yeah, okay. Tomorrow. The worst in the last time I've been Yeah. This video has been mostly foamer and no vlog, but we're heading to um uh, Davis. Da Davis, and then we're gonna get the Red Line shuttle bus to Harvard oh. and get dinner. I'm gonna make the dog. Did I No, definitely not. I should probably go home. Like, actually. So the sounds of that diesel were far worse than the sounds yeah, of the Yeah, not practices. comforting. At all. It's now 11.40. We're in like an empty Harvard bus way. 
it's freezing and we have to figure out what to do for the next hour and a half before the last 71 outbound to Watertown. I'm delirious, my throat's raw, and I'm just hoping that the last trip isn't that crazy. We're taking a 73 to kill some time. Because the 71 also just didn't exist. Right. It's kind of nice, it's just nice and quiet now, it's just regular people. It's midnight on March 13th. There's about two hours left um, until they're done, yeah. I gotta say, I'm just getting really sentimental right now. I've been thinking about my history with these, and these have just been in my life for just most of it. I remember in, in uh, middle school, uh, I used to go to soccer practice after school. We would take the, my friend and I would take the 77 down to get there. And we'd always get so, well, he wasn't in the transit, but I'd get so excited when it, when it was a, a 77 pulling out, like a, a 77A. And I'd be like, oh my gosh, it's awesome. Sometimes I wouldn't be in service. And I would just go by and I'd be so mad. I'd be like, no, no, it's, 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 it fooled us. Um, but then there's the rare times when it would be one. I'd be like, oh my god, it's a trackless trolley. Like, we're gonna get on this. And I'd marvel at the sounds and the audio, and it just sounded so good. And then throughout high school, I got more friends that lived out here, and, and you know, I, I would take it so many times, like late at night, early in the morning. These are just such important routes, and, and the routes are obviously just looking around, but these buses are just such a key part of it. And I was, I'm just thinking about these sounds, and it's just sad that they're not gonna be around anymore. Those were really, really huge parts of my life, these buses, and uh, they've really done a great job, and it's sad that they're going away. A little melancholy. We're here at the split to get um, the 71 out now. different energy here now that it's literally just the two of us on this empty bus, one of the last trips this bus will ever make, this type of bus will ever make. It's just kind of the solitude, you know, it's kind of melancholy. It's, it's, it's sad. Yeah. Like, I don't know how many people will be on the last trip, it'll definitely be more than this, I think, but like, right now this just feels very sentimental, I think. Now we're gonna head down to Harvard Lower for the final out and then back in. Um, it might be a different atmosphere. We're not really sure how many people will be on there, but that was very nice. And as far as I'm concerned, that I'm was, satisfied with that. that. Was, yes. 71. We're getting on to 71. We'll finally get to ride 71. A crowd has formed, but this bus waits for the last train, and the last train is hopelessly delayed, so we're gonna be here a while. <laughs> yeah. It's not looking great. It's 111. Hey, Miles. Yeah. How long has that 71 been arriving? <laughs> Approximately 17 minutes. <laughs> it's been the 10 minutes, and the red line has made it one stop. We're it is on the hours. move, though. It's on the move. <laughs> Last ever trackless trolley 71. How you feeling? Um, it's it's definitely you know it's melancholy for sure, but also kind of fun. Like the operators are getting out and taking pictures. Yeah. There's a couple of straggler regular passengers who just kind of don't know what's happening, and that's <laughs> kind of funny. Yeah. For sure. um, so even though it's a sad moment because these buses will be gone forever, it's also a celebration of these buses. This is the most ridership this run has ever had in its entire like 
90 The problem is, we are off on the last outbound. It's 1.54. We are 44 minutes late. About 20 minutes later than usual. And about yeah. 6 minutes from 3 a.m. I drove these before, I know. I'm not going to make it on the it's 3 a.m. We're about an hour and 48 minutes late. We just split off from the 73. Wire-wise, not road-wise, but we're about to. There goes the last 73. Nobody. <laughs> This is the last time we'll leave Watertown in this bus forever. What's your favorite thing about the MBTA so traffic so, trolleys? So My favorite thing is the sounds. Like for all electric buses, they just make amazing sounds. I think my favorite thing might be that it's, uh, it's electric and it doesn't need to be powered by a battery. My favorite thing is how resilient they are. They run in basically any weather. I might be able to do this whole thing if this thing. They just they can basically run them into the ground and they will still work really well, which is not the case with many types of diesel buses. With the trolley buses. The drivers seem to be more careful in how they're driving, probably just so that they don't be pull or like be wire. But it's like because of that, it makes the ride experience much more comfortable. What's your favorite thing about the MBTA trackless trolleys? The left hand doors. Wait, that was perfect timing. So my favorite thing about the trackless trolleys is that these are the last fixed route that is in the train. You know, they're very interesting and that's the last of our kind in New England. You won't see anything like this ever again in New England, maybe even soon the United States, because we're all moving towards a battery electric system. They're like so unique because they only run in two places really. And I also just think their essence is so like that, not noise, right there. Like it's so cool. I like I wrote my first scrap this trolley like three months ago and I've ridden them like every like week since. What's your favorite thing about the MBTA trackless trolleys? The hum of the energy they make when they're the leg rest I think the sound they make is very unique. They're, uh, they remind me of the silver line a lot. My favorite thing about the trackless on the team is watching the, the whole swivel out over the cars and then in snowy weather the arc and all the sparks coming down. What's your favorite thing about the MBTA trackless trolleys? Trolley poles. They're an important part of transit history and progress is great, but well, we should always remember to celebrate the history and keep some of them. What I really like about them is that they have some sort of longer service life. So as a kid, I would be seeing these wonderful old 
buses on the street going around Harvard, the, the, the old flyers, and I, I was born in Flushing. always wanted to ride them. I never managed to ride them <laughs> so I here, like but I went to other cities and did so. It was like a rolling museum. My favorite thing is the sound. The sound of it zooming past, zooming past Harvard with the wires up. It's truly the best sound. They are trackless, and they are trolleys. That's it.